YouTube, how's it going? Frogs and Angels is back with some more NBA free agency predictions. And DeAndre Jordan is the free agent we're discussing today, the center from the L.A. Clippers. Does he stay? Does he go? Player option. Player option. Does he opt in? Opt in to get traded. That's the most recent news. Maybe he opts in. They they keep him. They there, trade him. The news is even more specific than that. There's Let's a hear the specific spe news. Specific, like you said, he may be opting in in order to be traded. And the report here says to Dallas. Dallas. Which is the team that we know was trying to find him when, he was, had him. when he was kidnapped. They had him signed except for just it wasn't. He, he was kidnapped. The paper. Blake Griffin kidnapped him. Chris Paul, all those and guys. Yeah, they kidnapped him. Before we go any further, our subscriber goal is 10K subscribers. So if you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, please do so to help us out. That will be much appreciated. But back on to DeAndre Jordan, a team that you would like to take off here. I mean, there's a lot of teams. I put some center needy teams here. I, uh, there, I Like I said in the past, there's a shortage on good centers. So, I mean, maybe he's – isn't as good as he was a couple years ago. Pretty close, but again, there's a shortage, so somebody somebody's gonna pay this guy. I think. I think he's gonna get crazy offers, but I think you're gonna see him go to a team that's somewhat competitive. Okay. So with that being said, right off the bat, I'm gonna take off the Atlanta Hawks. Ooh. Uh, yeah, they had a great draft. There's a young team that is showing promise, but. They're obviously not ready right now. They're not, and he's going. He's going to a team that could compete. And then you know, big man. So I think they'll try to pay him or one of the other other centers uh, some good money. But uh, so I think it's possible. But okay, remove them first. The next team I will remove is going to be. It's going to be the Warriors. It's going to be the Warriors. I I put them up here because. They could use another center, even though JaVale McGee played pretty good ball in the finals there. But I could see DeAndre Jordan taking less money. Out of the centers that are in free agency, I can see him taking less money to play for a team like the Warriors. But I think it would be after the KD contract, I think it would be, be a lot less. So maybe it's unlikely. But I thought they deserved a spot up here for DeAndre Jordan, but I'd take them off. I'm going to go ahead and take off the L.A. Clippers. No, I know it's early, but it seems like he's either wow. it seems like he's leaving or he's signing to be traded. That's a hot take. That's a hot take, but that's what it seems like at this point. I mean, they traded away Blake. They got two draft picks. They drafted two pretty solid guys, uh, future point guard, future shooting guard. They're so rebuilding. They're rebuilding, possibly. So that maybe they that means they don't want to pay DeAndre Jordan. He's not part of a he shouldn't be part of a rebuild. So it makes sense. But maybe it's a little bit of a hot take for you to take him off that it's early. It's a little early. I acknowledge that. A little that. early. Yeah. Um, team that I'm going to take off next. I mean, he very well could end up there. But I'm going to take off the Knicks. They could use another big man next to Porzingis. They have a little bit of a cap situation. They still got to pay a couple guys that are just way overpaid. Joakim Noah would be one of them. Um, but, yeah, so I don't know if they land him. I can see them clearing space. I think they can figure it out. But will it be – for specifically DeAndre Jordan, I think more likely another player. But there's a lot to be done, like I said, before they can get a guy like this or maybe better. So I'll take them off the board. I'm going to go and take off – this might be a little early again. Two in a row, a little early. I'm going to take off the Timberwolves. Ooh. I, uh, I think, no, I think that's I think, about right. I think, I think they're it. looking for a power forward. I think they like Carl, Carl Anthony Towns at the center position. And they're just trying to find someone to start – uh, that's obviously going to be an upgrade from Taj Gibson, and I, I don't see them moving Cat in order to bring in DeAndre. I don't see that, and it's a lot of money. Yeah, I prefer Cat at the power forward spot, so that's why I threw the T Wolves up here. But yeah, maybe maybe they uh, they look for a power forward, keep Cat at center. I know Tibbs isn't super uh, thrilled with his defense, his on ball defense. So yeah, I, they they could be in the market for a center, but I think the other teams are more likely. The next team I want to take off, already decided before I was even up, it's going to be the Lakers. They could use a big man like this. Brooke Lopez isn't what he once was, but I think they're more in a market for LeBron James, Paul George, trade for Kawhi Leonard, players like that. So Ooh. maybe that brings them, makes it unlikely for them to get a guy like this. So I take off the Lakers there. I'm going to go ahead and take off Toronto. Um, Toronto. Toronto's coming off for the simple reason – the fit is great. The fit would be very fun to watch. They're just miss they're missing a solid big man. 
I they, think. They are, but they I don't think Lowry they have. They got Lowry and DeRozan, but. They don't have the money to invest in a DeAndre Jordan. They have a lot of money tied up between uh, DeRozan and Lowry. That's all I got. That's all you got. That's all I got. Off to take next uh, to take off next year. Uh, we talked about the Mavs, so that's already a team linked to them. There is two other teams on here that I think desperately need a center. I see two interesting fits here, other than the Mavs. Yeah, that's that's how I am too. But it depends on there's there's a couple centers. We got Boogie, we got Capella. Maybe somebody will like Capella better at power four, but. Played pretty well in the playoffs. He's young, so it, it's it's hard to choose which team will get which center. But the team I'm going to take off next is going to be it's going to be the Nets. I would agree. Uh, I they may pay him a lot of money. They may pay one of the other centers a lot of money. Maybe not the most appealing place to go. So that's why I take him off. But it could be a realistic spot. For that reason, for that reason, based off of pure appealing to go to. Take off the Blazers. Blazers? That was one of my two teams. I don't think the Blazers – the fit is – it's a great fit, but I don't think it's too appealing to somebody like a DeAndre Jordan. Maybe to one of these other centers that are on the board, but I don't think so for DeAndre. They got Dame. They got McCollum. They've always been missing the big man, so I think they desperately need to get one of these big – these solid big men in, in free agency. So that was one of my teams that I thought really needed them. They need to go after a guy – doesn't have to be DeAndre Jordan like the other centers I mentioned, only one of them, but who am I gonna take off next? I'll take off the I'll take off the Bucks. It was between them and another team I was gonna take off next. I just think the other team is more likely to pay more than the Bucks. Just just the feeling I got. But I, I really narrow it down to the two teams in my head. Same here. I, I actually the Bucks were one of my two teams other than the Mavs. Okay. I I think that fit, that would be something. That'd be cool. That'd be a very cool team to watch. Very fun team to watch. They're kind of missing that big guy, but I think that they need to find. I might be showing my hand here, but I think they need a big man or somebody who can shoot. Okay. And out of the three big name big men, there's one who can clearly shoot the best. So uh, yeah, I don't see DeAndre in Milwaukee, like you said. Is there a team uh, you want to take off here? I'm going to take off Charlotte. Okay, that's what I would take it off next. I'm going to take off Charlotte because I I don't know, there's a lot of talk between like for them trading Kemba. Uh, and if they're doing that, they're obviously committing to maybe not a full rebuild, but maybe like a retool. And I don't you're not going to bring in for the same reason the Clippers are not going to keep him if they are in fact rebuilding. You're not going to do that cuz he's not part of a rebuild. He's not a rebuild player. He's a win now kind of guy. So we uh, got two teams left: the Wizards and the Mavericks. Mavericks, he's been linked to the Wizards. Wizards are a team that needs a big man. There's been talk about they can trade Gortat or a player like that to free some space. Um, they would even give up a draft pick to do that. They want to look for a legit big man because they have a very good backcourt. Very good backcourt, just like I mentioned with the Blazers. They just been missing that legit big man. So I think that's a realistic option. But I'm going to have to take him off because you know, we have one team he's linked to, I mean, besides his current team, and so that makes the most sense right as, as of right now. So I'm going to go with the Mavericks. He could sign there. He could be traded there. What What's his see? value, though, if he has like a opts in for like one year? Wait, if he signs for one year? No, no say, he, say he opts into the Clippers with their plan to trade him to Dallas. Oh, like how, what do you have to trade for him? Yeah. He has no value. That's a good question. You don't want to trade a first rounder. The Mavs actually traded a first rounder protected for Luka Doncic in the draft to the Hawks. So, but it, it could not be a first rounder. But what what could it possibly be? That's what I'm trying to figure out what it could be. I don't know. I have no idea. It's like it can't be. It can't be like a bunch of second rounders. Those are just worthless. It's maybe maybe the Clippers just want to free the space but what would be the what would be the purpose of signing him to trade him you must think you can get something so it's going to be interesting to see what happens there but looks like we chose the Mavericks mm -hmm. the only team he's really linked to right now uh very hard to tell in the NBA so all of a sudden it's just the guy's over he's visiting the team likely to sign it's 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 strange it's harder to find fits than maybe another sport but that's what's why it's the NBA free agency is fun it's going to be great 
It's coming up. We got plenty other free agents to cover to predict. We got plenty other sports on the channel like NFL. So go check that out. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Our goal is 10K subscribers. But that'll do it for this one. Goodbye. Goodbye.